welcome to the Creative Workshop. I'm joined by John. John, you do lots of stuff here. We do, we do. You've named three of them so far, but I think there's probably a little bit more. There but are give, a few us, more. give us the top three. Well, the top three of the things that we do here is we sell a DUI, uh, DUI product. Okay. So if you want to come and make your own shikuri board table, we can provide the epoxy, the molds, the wood, the okay. legs, virtually everything. Cool. We also teach classes if you'd like to learn how to do it all. Uh, and lastly, we do custom work for people that uh, don't have time to take class, don't, don't <laughs> want to do something. Uh, we make charcuterie boards, tables. I don't want to do it myself. Just make it good for me, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> now, if you were to take a class, how long does it take? Like, is it a four-week program, a six-week nope, program? We, we have uh, a one-day class where okay. you will do a, um, a basic charcuterie board. Okay. So you learn how to sand it, finish it. We'll engrave it if you want it customized. There's a two-day option that we include um, epoxy. Okay. So you, you and I will do one later okay. where we're going to make a board out of epoxy. Cool. So that's two days because the first day you've got to get it all done, mm -hmm. and then we got to stay and wait and let it harden. All right, I guess. There's that time. And then you come back and you finish it. Now, it's not only charcuterie boards that I'm looking at here, but what would you nope. say are your most kind of popular items that people either want to make or that people want to buy? Uh, our sports signs are quite popular. They're super cool. Yeah, they're laser engraved and then or laser cut and then painted. Okay. Um, the tables are quite popular because yeah. we can make a table. They're gorgeous. Almost out of anything, any look you want. Um, so they're quite popular. Now, do people, when they say, okay, I want a table, do they get to go and kind of pick their piece of wood from that big stack that you have at the back that oh, you'll absolutely. see later? And they can kind of pick their tabletop or whatever they want and then say, this is the table that I want. Because you can really customize the size that you need, whether it be oh. a side table or mm -hmm. a coffee table. They can pick all, virtually everything. The species of the wood. I mean, we have some beautiful olive wood. Wow. That's hard to come by, but it's gorgeous. Um, yeah. You can see a table in the back uh, later. Wow. Um, we have obviously a big supply of black walnut. It's mm -hmm. local. It's, you know. Well, it's, uh, it's gorgeous in here. And I can imagine you want to get people to come to you. You've got an Instagram page. We do. We have a home page. Uh, my granddaughter, my niece, my daughter, and uh -huh. my sister are helping me with all the social media. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Because, you know, when I, and when I was younger, I was very good at technology. Yeah. <laughs> As I got older, I seem to have gotten stupider. Well, it's not that. It's just, you know, it's that learning curve, right? Yeah. All of us have yeah. to do it at one point or another. Okay, we're going to be coming back on Morning Live. We'll talk a little bit more about the tables. We'll talk a little bit more about the boards. And we'll actually try and make one. I'm going to try, John. I'm going to try my best. Oh, with I your think guidance. you'll do just fine. <laughs> all of that and more coming up on Morning Live. Stone Church Road East is where you find the creative workshop. John, what am I going to make here? What are you trusting me to make here? <laughs> We're going to make a charcuterie board in the shape of a wine bottle. Very bougie. I like yes. it. Yes. Okay. What do I do first? Okay. So first, we've already mixed up the epoxy. Yep. Uh, we're going to use a Loggins Art Resin. Okay. So it's a one-to-one -one mix. Okay. So equal parts of uh, both the harder and the resin. Okay. Mix it for about three minutes. Okay. Now we're going to add some color. Okay. Work your way up because it's a lot easier to add more color. Than it is it's to take a, it away. It's impossible to Got take it. it away. Okay. So if we take just a little scoop like that. Okay. And then if you want to mix it. Oh boy, you're trusting me I'll with this. I'll hold this, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Wow, a little goes a long way. Sure does. When it comes with the color, that's for sure. Okay. So like now you're all mixed color. up. Okay. So we'll just put that on the floor since it'll drip for a little bit. Okay. So we take our, our mold. We're going to use a silicone mold by Exotherm in uh, Mississauga. I carry all their uh, lines, and uh, Carlos makes a really good product. And later we'll show the different kinds of molds. Cool. Okay. So first of all, we want to make sure our table and our mold is level. Oh, what a great idea. So if the dot's in the center, yep. it's level. Perfect. Okay. So, no. Oh. Nope. What <laughs> I like ahead to do, of myself. Luke's what? laughing at me. Stop getting ahead of yourself. Well, Emily. what I like to do is I like to put a thin layer in first. Oh, yes, yeah, so, so that, that, that you make smooth. sure that underneath mm -hmm. is, is nicely done. Yeah, okay. So, if you want to pour in a little bit of that. How much when you say a well, little just bit? Just keep going. Tell me when. I will. <laughs> okay, that's good, probably to start. Okay. Fun. 
and just so that uh, we can speed things along. Okay. No, we're gonna need more. Oh, see, I, I knew if I had to do that, that would have been just, faster. We just want to get the bottom. Can you more like kind of go like this? Sure, you like can. This. Okay. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Yeah. Now, what are we gonna do with this board once I've made it? Eat on it. <laughs> have some wine and cheese that's what we're gonna do all right okay what's next so now you're gonna put your wood in okay does it matter how I put it in no nope, but you know you want to look this is gonna be the top of your board the way you're looking yes so, so I you want to see top. yeah okay you sit that in okay and then I always make a, a little piece of wood making it look like the cork in the bottle oh cute so, so if you want like to stick this? that at the top sure like this yep. okay oh I love that that's super cute okay Okay. So now, just keeping with our theme, we're going to embed some corks. Oh, fun. One there, one there. Oh, I don't really love that one anymore, but that's okay. Why don't you take it out? Yeah, but then it'll be all like sticky, won't it? Yeah, just <laughs> throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> See, John, he teaches classes here, and you can tell he's a good teacher, by the way. He's helping me learn. Okay. Ooh, sticky. All of them? Nope. Just whatever you think looks right. Mm, you know? I don't like this down here. Okay. I don't like what I'm done. Here. Okay, wait. Throw it on there. Okay. No, nope, you know what? I like it. I'm okay. leaving it. All right. So that's our uh, first step. All right. We're going to get on to step number two uh, in just a few moments. So make sure you stay with us for that because there's still lots more to come. Okay, so I've made the wine board. Well, at least I've done step one. And we're going to show you step two in a moment. But, John, it's not just about wine boards. So you've got lots of different molds that people can choose from here. Like it's, it's the sky's your limit. Uh, pretty much. Uh, like I said, we carry all our exotherm molds mm -hmm. and there's a number of different kinds. Okay. Um, the silicone molds here, uh, they're in different shapes. So here's one out of a guitar. I love that. <laughs> so, you know, if you have a musical fan, you yeah. want to do something special for them. The newest ones are these vacuum uh, pressurized molds. Okay. Form Vacuum formed, I guess. Okay. Because they have no seams. So how do you get it out if it's like this? There's a slight angle on the sides. Oh, I see. So all okay. you do, because it's flexible, you yeah. pull it a little bit, and you turn it, it over, you give it a tap, and out it pops. Oh, okay, because these are really cool. You, you just They're so bendable, and you can oh, yeah. get it out easily, right? Yep. All right, time to move on to step number two. By the way, John has classes here, one-day, two-day classes. He's a great teacher, obviously because he's letting me do something. He has to be a great teacher. Uh, and this one involves a little bit of flame, which it does. You know, I'm a bit excited about. So what's next? We've poured in the epoxy. It is dried epoxy. It is dried mm -hmm. next. So we've already mixed up uh, our next layer. Okay. Again, we're still using the Olagan art resin. Yep. Um, so this is just going to be our clear coat. Okay. Because we're doing, like, we have some things in, like, the corks, we yep. want to be able to see them when we're done. Of course. So you go ahead, just pour that in. Okay. You're going to tell me when, right? You just pour the whole thing in. The whole thing. Okay. You would tell me if I did it wrong, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, not over there. It's almost impossible to do this step wrong. Okay, that's a good, well. <laughs> and now I'm assuming I take this and I kind of make sure that I have it all over the wood. Well, you can. I mean, it will self-level. It will? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. But for the... For our time and everything, you yeah. might as well. For the purposes of television. Yeah, stir it around a bit, get it close to being flat. Okay. This is so easy, and the outcome is so remarkable. It's, it takes no time. Well, I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but that's why you do the two day classes if you want to make something like this, right? A good part of it is waiting time for everything to cure. Yeah. So epoxy is a, a, a chemical reaction. It's an exothermal um, reaction and that's how it cures okay so it puts off a lot of heat oh so in its curing process as you can see we have a bunch of bubbles. oh yes i see that so the bubbles naturally will raise to the top okay um but we want to get rid of them as we go okay uh, it just gives a better finish okay so there are three ways of doing it mm -hmm. you can use a heat gun mm -hmm. which is really just a high pressure uh hair dryer okay you can use an alcohol spray okay or you can use a propane torch I Pro like the torch torch it because is. it's quick. <laughs> so simply, you push the button, hold it, uh -huh. and just work your way over the top. Okay. I'm a little scared. 
Do I need safety goggles? No. Nope. Oh! And as you can see, the bubbles start to disappear. There you go. Just like that. Yeah, and you're going to do that probably three or four times as the bubbles come up. Mm -hmm. um, wood has air in it, the corks have air in it. Yep. Uh, we could have taken the trouble and sealed them all individually, mm -hmm. but that takes a lot of time. Okay. And this works just as well. Okay, well, coming up, we're going to show you the finished product, and we're going to take it out of the molds and uh, show off my skills. Here it is, the finished product for the magic of television. We have let it set, and now, John, I'm just taking it out of the mold. Am I doing it correctly? Yep. Oh, this is so cool. Well, you're a good teacher. Well, see, the, get, you see how your back is nice and clean? Yes. It'll take less work. That's why we pour a little bit in first. Oh, right, okay. It just saves some work. So now we'll take this board. Okay. And oh, it's not done yet, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> we take it through the machines and we got to sand it down. Oh yeah, so the edges are yeah, rough. they're sharp. And uh, when we buff it and polish it, the clear will come back out, and you'll be able to see your uh, my work, your corks. Yeah. So nice, I love it. And when you're done, ta-da! Oh, that's okay. So this is my final product. That's your Never final mind, product. Never mind. Don't look at that one. <laughs> look what I made! Wow, I'm a really, really good craftsman. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful and you can put your wine here and your cheeses and your crackers and your chips and your olives and everything that you want to serve and then it's got a fancy little thing that you can hook it on the wall. That's right. All right, what are we going to do with this board? Well, we're going to uh, raffle it off. Ooh, that's exciting. So if you go to uh, the creativeworkshop.ca. Okay, your website. Go, yeah, our website and go to request a quote. Mm -hmm. Just fill it out and in the description just write Emily's board. Ooh. And uh, we'll do this till next Friday. So or this Friday, sorry. We'll do it till Friday. Yep. And then uh, we'll pick a winner and they get the board you made. That's awesome. I'm like signaling all my family and friends, get on there, bid for my board. <laughs> that is super cool. That's fun. And I as, love it. Uh, thank you for coming up and uh -huh. showing. <gasps> I've made this for the morning live group. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. We can totally put it in our kitchen. Yeah. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so you much. So uh, you can come up and you can actually learn how to make this board. That is so or fun. Or something with your own graphic in it. Yeah, I will for sure. Thanks, John, for having us. Okay. We've had a great time today. We've great. learned a lot. And don't forget, just go to the website, Creative Workshop. Thecreativeworkshop.ca. And bid for my board. And we're on Instagram, all the socials. Of course. And it's always The Creative Workshop. Okay, thecreativeworkshop.ca.